Hello, in this video we'll briefly cover how to enable Git in your Unity project, and also how to enable Large File Storage, or LFS, to handle the tracking of large files. I won't be covering how to use Git to track changes in general, as there is a plethora of resources out there already, but I want to try and stay specific to what's important when working with Unity. If you're not familiar with Git, it is a source control tool to manage and track code changes. It is industry standard for software projects and should be used when working with any software project, including Unity. It greatly helps when you want to bring on others to collaborate and allows you to reliably track the changes you make and the progress of your project. Large file storage, LFS, is important because with Unity projects you have the potential to have really large files like images, audio, 3D model files, etc. And you don't want to have to pull down these gigabyte sized files as part of your Git tracking history. LFS uses lightweight pointer files to capture changes within the tracked files and then stores the actual large files on their LFS servers. I'm not going to go any further on Git here, but I'll provide some links in the description so you can do a deep dive later on. But trust me, whether or not you're an experienced software or a game developer, you want to use Git to manage and track the changes in your project. To get started, just create a new Unity project like you normally would. I'm assuming you already have Git installed, and if you don't, it's really easy to do. Just see the links in the description. Before you make any changes, it is good practice to capture the initial status of your project's files to establish a baseline commit. That way you can always fall back in case your project gets broken or something else happens. So CD into the top level of your project and run git init. This initializes the project to enable you to start tracking changes. With Unity, you're not starting with an empty project, however, so you have to add all the files that comes with a new project. Let's run a git status to see all the outstanding files that are not committed. This list is pretty long, but there's lots of files that you don't want or need to commit to your Git repository. These files can be temporary files, user preference configurations, build files, logs, etc. With Git, there is a way to easily exclude these files by creating a .gitignore file and adding in all the file types and directories you don't need to track. Luckily, you don't have to do the work to figure out which files you don't need. The community has already done this for you. So just Google unity.gitignore and it's usually the first result. Copy that Unity git ignore code from GitHub and create a .git ignore file in the top level of your project and paste in the copied configuration. Run git status again and you should see that list is much smaller. Now let's go ahead and perform an initial commit of all our new project's file. Run git add dot to stage all of your files. And if you run a git status, you can see that all the files have been staged. Then to actually commit them, run git commit dash m and then put in a message for your initial commit. Now all the files have been committed to the repository on the master branch. And if you run git status again, you can see that we have no untracked changes. Once your project starts growing, you'll most likely be adding image files, 3D models, audio, and other large source files. It's a good idea to turn on LFS when you are about to commit these large files for the first time. I added a link in the description on how to install the git LFS extension. Once you have it downloaded, run git LFS install. You only have to do this once per user account. There are a couple ways to turn on the LFS tracking, but for this demo, let's just create a file at the top level of your project called .git attributes. Then let's Google again for Unity Git attributes, and there are a few examples here. This one seems pretty good. Copy over the contents to the Git attributes file and save it. And that's it, there's nothing else special you have to do. The workflow is the same for normal files. Anytime you add a file that's listed in the Git attributes, it will automatically be captured under the LFS. When you commit your changes to the remote repository, like on GitHub, it automatically stores them in the LFS servers. Let's see what that looks like. If you view the git attributes file, it's enabled for JPEG files. I copied over a test JPEG image, committed it, and pushed it out to the remote repository in GitHub. Looking at the project here, let's find the image file. You can see that it is stored using their LFS support, which is what we expected. One thing to note here is that if you already have some files that were committed before you enabled the .git attributes, it won't automatically be added. You'll have to perform a migration. See the link in the description. There are a few visual editors for Git like SourceTree, and lots of IDEs support direct integration with it, including Visual Studio Code and Eclipse. So if you're new, maybe start out on the command line, and then once you're familiar, graduate to using SourceTree or something similar. And I can't vouch for this because I just found it, but GitHub already has an extension that you can install directly into Unity. So check that out too. Using Git to track changes and enabling LFS are two good development practices you should adopt into your game development toolset. The earlier you do this, the better you'll be in the long run. I do this for every single project I work on, and so should you. Thanks for watching.